Good evening and welcome to Night Prayer. Come on this day given by God. So let's take a moment, settling ourselves again with the one who knows and cares. Psalm 42 verse 1, as the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul longs for you, O God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. This day is one he's created for us, so let's again take time bringing to him the things of this day that we want to thank him for and leave with him. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. <coughs> Looking tonight at verse from Psalm 27, verse 4. One thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. One thing I ask, and yet the psalmist puts several down really, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Not just being in the temple and in God's house, but having that chance to gaze on the beauty of the Lord. And I wonder, how much have you thought of that? Have I thought of it? That our time with God, gazing upon him, is something that matters as well. If you love somebody, very often what you want to do is just gaze on them. I remember a friend telling me that about a newborn child. Gazing, looking, absorbing. And as you gaze on the beauty of the Lord, so we gain extra insights into who he is. As we gaze on the one that we love, our hearts are changed too. David says his desire is that he might gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and seek him in his temple. Let's spend a moment in prayer. Lord, thank you. Thank you that we have access to you all the time. Forgive us when we fail to note and fail to take time with you. When we get consumed by our own needs and miss your beauty. Help us to gaze on you and to know you more. Amen. Be present, O Lord, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. 
now may you know afresh the love of the one on whom you gaze. He is your living rock, the living word. He is your Father in heaven. Amen. Bless you and sleep well. <laughs>